Okay, so as I was asking my dad to take this vitamin that his body didn't do a very good job of absorbing, and now I was trying to get him to uh, get a higher number, uh, not just based on his um, lab, but just I, I couldn't believe we could put that much energy into replacing his oral vitamin D. And again, he lives way above that 35th uh, latitude. His, his uh, nickname was always Chicken Legs because he had such white legs. I swear there was zero melanin in every single one of his cells. How could I do a better job of a asking him to absorb vit the vitamin D? And um, here were some of the mistakes he was doing. So I would tell him, you don't need to be out in the sun long, Dad. Just sit out on the, on the front porch and, from 10 to 2, and you will, um, you'll, you'll absorb enough vitamin D uh, through those UVB rays in just 10 minutes. But um, there were several things that he had that uh, this list, we're going to come back up to that. But I want to show you um, this picture. I love this one. Vitamin D for seniors. Okay, that was my dad, right? So he was a senior. And when you look at what his uh, midday w would have been, so how many minutes in midday sun, summer sun are needed for adequate vitamin D? Let's go to San Diego. Um, and if you were a youth, <laughs> uh, notice that t if you just have your hands and feet, it's only 12% of your skin that's exposed, or excuse me, your hands and face, it's only 12% of your skin that's exposed. So even kids needed 42 minutes in the sun uh, to get about 40 nanograms per milliliter a day. Um, as you got a little higher on that list, uh, short sleeves, you took the it from 42 minutes down to 19 minutes. And again, the purpose of this uh, slide is showing you, hey, guess what? You're out from 10 to 2. Your doctor, like I have done, has said, hey, if you just get 10 minutes of this, you're going to be fine. 10 minutes of sunlight. But the problem was that what with that is... Um, other medical conditions needed to be right for that to be true. Uh, so here are, um, if they had shorts and a t-shirt, now you have 46% of the skin exposed and you needed 11 minutes. Um, if you get to the adults, um, now he need. Uh, actually it's not adults, it's um, the, this is still the youth for San Diego needed seven minutes if all they wore were shorts and, and shoes. Uh, if you go to Seattle, though, look at that. You needed 168 minutes um, in that um, in the sun if you only were going to have your hands and face exposed. So people who say, I took my lunch hour outside, I'm getting my vitamin D, I need you to expose your skin. Um, and of course, if you're a senior, the number of minutes it takes when you're in shorts is higher than the youth needed when they only had their face and hands exposed in San Diego. So you look at some of the other uh, things that this excluded. This chart did not take into case. They use the word obese, but when you look at the studies, they're really talking about um, in insulin resistance. Anybody whose Dr. Bas ratio hangs out above 100 forever and ever, uh, that process of absorbing vitamin D much slower. Um, of course, dark skin, that melanin, prevents that vitamin D2 to go to vitamin D3. Um, and as, uh, I mean, you look, it's almost twice as many minutes for the obese, twice as many minutes if they have black skin or the darker the melanin, or excuse me, five times uh, as many minutes if they have the darkest melanin. Um, early morning or late afternoon, twice as many minutes. Um, and then season, um, if it's during the spring or fall and you're up in South Dakota, <laughs> if you have an urban haze, that blocks it out too, and light clouds block it as well. So I like to go back to this and say, all right, so five to 10 minutes is only if you were near the equator and you were young and you were not obese and you had light skin and it's in the summer and it's in the middle of the day and you have lots of skin exposed to the sun and you're lying down and you're not wearing any sunscreen and you have a healthy liver. What they're really trying to talk about there is insulin resistance, but uh, no clouds, no air pollution. You have um, a good response to sunshine, uh, four times the variation of individuals. Uh, this chart also, and I will link this uh, website down below, I just think it's a fun one for you to, uh, it's called vitamindwiki.com and I just think they've taken the data and put it um, pretty, pretty succinct. Um, and looking at, you know, it's almost three hours in the sun if you're obese, elderly, or have dark skin. Uh, we know that the um,
correlation to vitamin D and the response to COVID D, uh, COVID uh, D nineteen is it's actually impressive. Oh, it brings me back to what do I tell my kids to do? What do you do if you're in my house? And um, you know, vitamin D supplementation isn't um, something I was always very good about. Uh, I I just assumed my kids were getting enough, but you can't live in my house now if, unless you're taking supplement of vitamin D. I don't put uh, anything on the market that I don't have my kids and I take together. Uh, and my, I specifically made this when my dad was strugg struggling with his kidney problems. And these are two of the fat soluble uh, vitamins that I really um, almost feel embarrassed that for 20 years of my medical practice, I didn't, uh, I wasn't as methodical about this as I was checking blood pressure and cholesterol and diabetes. Uh, meaning I, I wasn't doing what could be done to prevent things. I was using um, the diagnostic test to find problems instead of stop them. But uh, vitamin, D, vitamin D2, uh, K2, D3 is one of the only vitamins that I probably will ever sell. But it is because when the ketogenic diet starts to work, uh, when they're finally able to absorb fat, which is usually after they become keto adapted, the rate at which they can absorb the activated uh, uh, vitamin is it's impressive and the improvement in their mental health and their energy and their metabolic processes are, um, are really in line. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Stay tuned.